Hey, it's Sam from Barn2. As a merchant or developer using WooCommerce, you've probably realized that the default filtering options leave a lot to be desired. And today, I'll show you how to fix that. Just about every leading e-commerce site uses some kind of complex product filtering system, allowing customers to narrow down their searches in many different ways. Take for example, Macy's, one of the leading e-commerce websites in the US. Macy's overall filtering design is both conventional and specific. Suppose you want to buy a coat on the website. You'll see several product categories, including coat style, length, brand, size, fabric, and color. At the same time, Macy's allows you to narrow down your search further by selecting appropriate subcategories. For instance, if you select coat style, you'll see at least 15 different styles to choose from. I could go on, but you get the idea. If you want to see more great website filtering examples, then this article by Drip is a great read. The main point is, to truly replicate these market leaders, you'll need a plugin capable of handling all these different filter options and styles. That's why here at Barn2, we developed WooCommerce Product Filters, the most versatile plugin of its kind on the market. And today, I'll show you how to set it up and use it on your site, which will take us from this basic setup to something akin to what you'd find on Macy's or Amazon. Click the first link below to grab yourself a copy of the plugin, which as always is covered by our 30-day money-back guarantee. After purchasing your copy, you'll get an email with the zip file and a product key for activation. In the WordPress admin, go to Plugins, Add New, and upload the plugin zip file that you just downloaded. Click Install, and then Activate. The setup wizard should launch automatically, or you can always find the plugin settings page by going to products and filters. Then click on the setup wizard up the top here. Add your license key in the first step and make sure it's activated. Then click next. Optionally, select a filter group to appear at the top of your store. Horizontal is the default option. Next, configure the filter visibility to deliver a good user experience to your customers. If you leave it on always display filters, then for mobile and desktop users, filters will always be available. Or you can choose this click button to reveal filters, and you have the same option on mobile. You can also choose this toggle option, and you can leave the filters toggled open or closed. I'm gonna disable the toggle, and I'm gonna always display the filters for this example. Here we could choose the filter mode. You can either apply filters as soon as the customer makes a selection, or you can click a button to apply filters. This will allow customers to select multiple different filters before applying them all at once. I would leave this option enabled to display the number of products for each option. And we can already finish the setup wizard. And then click on manage filters. Now let's create a new filter group, which we can add to shop pages in the upcoming steps. Within this filter group, we're going to add filters for category, color, size, price, and rating. You may also want to add a brand filter, but that's not really applicable on my demo site. Either click on edit for the default filter group or add a new one with this button here. From this page, you can give your filter group a name. This is gonna be my main filter, which I'll add to the widget on the sidebar. So I'll just name it filter widget. Then as stated before, we want to create five different types of filters. So to add a new one, you can click on this button here. Recall that we wanted category, color, size, price, and rating. So let's get rid of this one here. And let's edit a new one, we'll call it size. This is going to be a filter, filter by attribute. And the attribute is going to be size. You can find that by selecting the attribute from the drop-down list, assuming you have it already set up as an attribute on your store. The filter style can be a drop-down, checkbox, radio button, labels, images, or range slider. I'm going to use checkboxes for size, and we're going to display all the sizes. Now we can save changes, then repeat these steps to create even more filters. We need one more for rating. So let's give it a name, rating. It's going to be a filter, and we're going to sort by rating. And that has all of the settings set up by default, so we can save changes. 
And there'll be a little message here telling you that the results are going to be indexed in the background. And when it updates, it will tell you that everything has been completed. I'll just show you how it looks for categories. We've given it the name categories. We have selected a filter, which is going to be using the images style. We could also use labels or something else, but images are the most engaging. Make sure that the categories all have an image. You can update this in the add or edit screen for each category. Make sure to display the image and the name if you want to, and display all the categories. That's also optional. You can select from specific categories to show. Color is similar to size and price. I'll just show you very quickly. This is all set up by default. If you choose price and filter by price, save that. Finally, we can add the filters to any of our shop pages. It's actually easy to add a group of filters anywhere on your WooCommerce site. Let's take a look. Now to display product filters, we can first go to our settings page. I'm going to scroll down to shop filters. You can configure the plugin settings to enable filters on the shop pages and archive pages. The filter group you select will appear on the product list pages that WooCommerce creates. To display this filter widget in an actual widget, we just need to go to appearance and choose widgets. And under the sidebar widget, I'm going to add and search for product filters. And this is added by the plugin. I'm going to write the title filters and I'm going to choose my filter widget group and I'm going to click update. And now instead of these default filters that are showing up here, I'm going to refresh the page and we can see these much better looking filters, which are added by the plugin. So we have our categories, hoodies and t-shirts, different sizes, different colors, a price range and rating range as well. And all of this is much more dynamic and looks a lot better. Now, if I did want to select a few different things like large hoodies, for example, then I can click apply filters and we can see all of our different hoodies. You can also remove this apply filters option and just have it so that every time they click on a filter, that filter will be applied. There we go. Gray hoodies. We have one in stock. You can also clear the filters by clicking this button here. Now you'll notice on our store page here, we also have this default sorting dropdown and this in stock dropdown. This is added by our horizontal filters option. Now, if we go back to our plugin settings page, this is one that I added before starting this video. So I'm just going to edit this here. If you don't have a horizontal filters group, it might be the default one. You might need to create a new one and you can give it the name horizontal if you want to. And you can, for example, remove anything that you don't want if you don't want the in stock and just leave the sort filter if you want, then save those changes. And by the way, if you go to the settings tab, you can edit which filter group shows up by default. You can either have none or you can set up whichever filter group you created. In this case, horizontal filters, go back to your shop page and refresh. And you can see we just have one drop down for the default sorting option. Alternatively, the plugin comes with a short code, which you can use to display filters anywhere. I can copy this short code here using this button and I can paste the short code inside a block editor. For example, Gutenberg, Elementor, or the Divi Builder. You can also use it with the products short code that comes with WooCommerce. Check out the plugin documentation in the description below for a full list of shortcode options. This method is also useful when using WooCommerce product filters with third-party plugins. For example, it integrates with the WooCommerce product table plugin so that you can create one page order forms with category filters. Don't forget to test out your filters by viewing them on your site. You may want to set up a separate testing website for this using a service like InstaWP. If you get stuck at any point, you can always contact our amazing support team through our website. Remember that product filters can only work when you've correctly categorized and set up attributes for all of your different products in the first place. If you haven't yet set up product variations, then check out this video next. It has all the details you need. Check out the filter plugin demo here 
And as always, thanks for watching.